So I wanted to see Jiren's port to GTK4, which is a Plex client, and that was meaning I should set a Plex server up for first time in my life. Fortunately it took me no more than 20 minutes, at least for sharing a local library as I only wanted. So let me quickly show you how easy can be. First you need to sign up to Plex, and you can use your Google account. And next, you should create a password so you can log in later from the app that will be added on authorized devices. Then, you want to download and install the server. In my case it was a Fedora RPM that was installed without any troubles. The local server runs on 32400 slash web. That's an external disk I'm going to use as a movie storage. By default Fedora mounts it under slash run and media, and for some reason Plex cannot see this location. So next I'm going to amount it, and mount it again on slash mnt. The disk is SDC1, so amount dev and SDC1. Then I will create a Plex directory under MNT, and will remount it there. So mount SDC1 to MNT Plex. One last thing is to change the ownership to group and user Plex. This is an unfortunate Plex requirement for Linux installations only. All done. Just checking the mount point on file browser. And inside the anime folder is some series to share. Back to your local server and settings, and then you need to go to your libraries. I previously created this from my local partition, so now I'm going to add a new library for the external disk. Give it a name, and then we need to add the location we mounted before. Under MNT and Plex. There we go. Add the library, and wait to sync. So now we can see our files and everything, but the whole point was to use the Gyrons app. And most specifically this merge request with the GTK4 port. That I'm going to run directly from Builder without even installing it. And the reason it doesn't ask for credentials is because I'm running it for a second time so it remembers. And that's how the worst Plex installation of all times is getting to an end. As I said, I only wanted to see Gyrons. I hardly know what Plex actually is. But it's nice to know we have an app we can run on a GNOME phone and watch movies and stuff.